So it is April 10th, and it's that time of the year again to fire up the pool heater. It um, got up in the mid-80s today. Uh, you can see there or not, but around 83. And uh, let's just say, yeah, it's, that's in the shade. <laughs> that's not out in the sun. <laughs> it's much hotter. And uh, we are running that pool heater, the 127,000 BTU electric heat pump pool heater. This thing on my 12 kilowatt, I'm pulling in 4,500 watts um, at 230 volts. And then I've got a supplement of a five kilowatt charge controller bringing in another 55 amps and those two are running it and i'm pulling nothing on the battery so it's 85 amps on a 12 kilowatt and then we are using those new bifacial solar panels to produce the other 55 amps that we need so it's 140 amps that thing's running on 230 volts and it's using around um, seven kilowatts, 7,000 watts to run that beast right now. So, but getting our pool heated up, it's gonna be in the 90s uh, tomorrow or Friday. So trying to get our pool up to about 88 degrees. So got our new solar arrays back there. Got 2,000 watts here, 2,000 watts here, and we just added another 2,000 watts up here. And right now it's this solar array, which is 6,000 watts of used panels, that solar array of 2,000 watts of you solar panels and then this same solar panels 2000 watts is running that 12k so we got 10 kilowatts out of that and the sun's actually it's um almost straight up above so but these older solar panels the used ones you don't get quite as much off now I've got that that um, 10 kilowatts of used solar panels and I'm bringing in 4,500 watts. And with these brand new bifacials, I only have 4,000 watts with a potential of 5,000 watts with the backside bifacial. And I'm actually bringing in 3,000 watts on five um, thousand watts as where with 10,000 watts, I'm only bringing in 45. So there's a huge disparity between how well these new 400 watt bifacials work versus those old poly panels. And those are in direct sun with no shade on them whatsoever. And really liking those new ones. Now, these were anywhere from, I bought them over the years, anywhere between $25 and $40 a piece used. And one of the problems I'm having is there's getting water intrusion in them. And it's been like two to four years. Um, as where with these new solar panels, I just put those up. And I have a slight angle on them like I do right there. So I'm... Uh, Hoping that uh, that slight angle on there will keep that water from puddling on the solar panels. And uh, still have another 2,000 watts of solar panels to put up. So it is April. It's beautiful out. We got that pool. It's like at... Um, 75 degrees right now so we have another 13 degrees to go to get there and we'll be in it swimming probably from another two to three days 
pretty much it. Just want to let you know we're heating the pool. And it is possible to heat that pool with that 127,000 BTU pool heat pump heater. But you will need a grow watt 12 kilowatt to do that. And there's um, a couple of places right now you can get one at Signature Solar, and I'll leave a link in the description. And you get these refurbished. They're normally, with delivery of freight, around $2,500. And right now they're around $1,200 plus freight to $250 for freight. So it'd be right around $1,500. For a refurbished one so you save a thousand dollars but that's a 12 kilowatt and that's a 12 kilowatt and these have 150 watt input of pv solar so it is a lower input as where this is 500 500 and 500 on those that's a charge controller i'm using and that one's you can see it's actually 56 amps and if we scroll through here, 275 volts and, oh, 200, it's three kilowatts, 2.97 kilowatts on there. And over here, we are 111 volts on our PV solar input, 86 amps, and it's 4.62, so it's seven, 1620 watts coming in and on our battery down here we are actually it says it's discharging by 0.2 so it's just barely pulling anything out of here right now it'll go to standby and then discharge and then standby so, but you will need one of these big beasts in order to um, start up and run that pool heater heat pump. And you're gonna need one of these as well. These are right around $300. And that actually goes right here. The um, battery cable goes in there, Anderson Quick Disconnect and it connects to the bus bar and this and the battery battery banks down here these three batteries are connected to the bus bar i have three of these five 5.1 kilowatt hour batteries connected in parallel running that down there so you can run some really large uh appliances like that that's like seven thousand watts um and you can also run like mini splits that are 230 volts. I was running it off of this one earlier, but I'm gonna be putting, three, this is connected, that's connected, but they're uh, single mode, single phase mode right now. We're gonna parallel those together and get 230, and we'll be running that 230 volt mini split off of those, but we haven't paralleled them together yet. So we just got them connected. But, you know, for, $1,500, get them while you can. Now they do have, it's like $1,650 for the one that has 250 volt input. Um, so it's $400 more to be able to go to 250 solar panel PV input versus 150 on the two that I have. They're both 150. So depends on what you want to spend. But, um, if you're buying it brand new, expect to pay the $2,000 to $2,500. They're pretty expensive. And then you're gonna need the batteries. So I'm running that with three batteries and that's keeping that fully charged. I could probably get away with one battery because it's really not, but you know, if there's clouds and things like that, it can discharge it really quick at using 140 amps. So, just wanted to share that with you, let you know. It's uh, a lot of stuff going on in here. We've got a lot of different projects going on.
and we're having some fun doing it. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description below. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. And check back with Signature Solar often because they do run free shipping, free freight, and free shipping every once in a while, which, you know, if you buy one of these big beasts or one of those batteries, that's 250 bucks to get one of those delivered. Whether you get one battery or five batteries or one of these or four of them, it's usually, well, these I don't think they can stack, but the batteries they can put sideways and strap on a, a pallet, but you save a lot of money on uh, free freight. They just had it twice this year so far in 2024. So check back often and see if they have that free freight going on. That'll save you a lot of money. Anyways, hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2024.